All right, you know what time it is. It's time to talk about the weapons of the enemy during the African Bush Wars. And what I have in my hands today is the RPK. And you say, what does that stand for? And I'm going to tell you this. This is my absolute best Russian accent. The RPK stands for Roknoi Poyamat Kalishnikova. Wow, that was a mouthful, and you're welcome. So the RPK, you're like, bro, it looks like an AK. There's a reason for that. Mikhail Kalishnikov, with the popularity and the success of the original AK-47 and the follow-on AKM, they decided to do a squad automatic weapon, or SAW, to mate with the AK. All right, this gun is based on the original Kalishnikov AK action, only it's beefed up and elongated. It uses the exact same cartridge, 762 by 39 millimeter Russian. The exact same style magazine well, because it uses AK magazines. Now this magazine right here is the standard 40 round RPK magazine. But if I ran out of these mags, they were all empty, can I reach over and have one of my comrades give me a 30 round AK mag, pop it in here and go to town? Yes, I could. What is a squad automatic weapon? Well, a squad automatic weapon is obviously an automatic weapon or a light machine gun. Now, the main differences between the RPK and a regular AK, from looking at it, well, you start at the back, you have the club foot stock, this is very common on the standard RPK. Hardwood club foot stock. Then you move up here, you got your carrying handle. Some were made with, some weren't made with them, but this other one obviously was. And then up here on the 20 inch barrel, underneath the 20 inch barrel, we have a bipod which folds out. Very robust, they did a fantastic job on these and they are adjustable. You can loosen them and make them longer or shorten them down or whatever you want to do. A very robust, very strong bipod on the RPK. Obviously a heavy barrel. Heavy barrel, why? Because you're going to be putting a lot of rounds very fast through this gun, because that's the purpose. The purpose of this gun is to deploy a wall of fire onto your enemy so that your little comrades can skitter around the side and kill your enemy. So you're either going to shoot them or you're gonna put so much lead onto them that they put their heads down, and while their heads are down, like I said, your little comrades skitter around the flank, come up on the side of them, and kill them. Uh, the safety lever operates the exact same, the charging handle operates the same, magazine release, everything same, same, same. Why is that important? Because at the time, Russia, Soviet Union, decided, hey, we're gonna issue these AK, AKM rifles, to our infantry, we're gonna teach them all how to use them. Then we're gonna give them the squad automatic weapon. The squad automatic weapon works exactly like the AK does. So you don't have to teach them a whole nother uh, weapon system. Basically you say, okay, this one's heavier, it's longer, and uh, it holds more rounds. Over here on this side, I've got a pouch. This is uh, a Chinese pouch. And this Chinese pouch, because the Chinese did Basically, we all understand that the Chinese copied everything the Russians did, right? Russians did the AK, Chinese copied it. Russians did an RPK, Chinese copied it. It's almost like the Chinese never had an original idea in their lives. But over here, we've got a pouch for a 75 round drum. The 75 round drum is the standard size drum for the RPK. Uh, they do make 100 round drums, uh, but they are a little bit more difficult to find and they're obviously larger and heavier. And then over here on this side, what I've got is I've got a standard Soviet or Warsaw Pack RPK pouch. Open it up and it's got four slots for 40 round magazines. All right. And then, of course, on the outside, they said, hey, let's just give the RPK gunner a grenade. What do you think? 
so they put a single grenade pouch on the outside so we could have a grenade so there we go uh, it should be obvious to anybody who's looking you're like wow that's a lot of ammo man so let's say the RPK gunner started out with a 75 round drum loaded in his in his gun he starts out with that then he's got another pouch over here that has four 40 rounders right so four times 40 is 160 160 plus 75 is how much kids 235 and if he had another drum that would add another 75 so it put him up to 300 plus rounds of ammo and these mags are made of steel 762 ammunition is not light like 556 so your RPK gunner had to be a strong dude because he this this weighs empty a little bit more than 10 I think around 10 11 pounds empty then I take a two and a half pound magazine or a three pound drum and these things aren't light then, and that doesn't even include water and all the other gear that I'm carrying so your RPK gunner needs to be a strong dude because this isn't a, for the squad or the fire team or the platoon this is a very important gun you want to keep this thing up and running when this thing is running everyone's happy when this thing stops running people start getting nervous that's one of the reasons that they made it compatible with the AK let's say I'm the RPK gunner and we're having a firefight and I burn through all the ammo on me I yell to Yuri or Mikhail or Sergey next to me and I'm like comrade feed me ammo bitches and so they start feeding me ammo and I start cranking through 30 round magazines because the squad automatic weapon in the squad platoon the fire team it's the most important one you want to keep it up and running would the Selu scouts have used these and known how to use these yes absolutely they would but the primary users of the RPK in the African Bush Wars were the communist terrorists backed by both Russia and China. watching the video I really hope that you enjoyed it now I would like to personally invite you to join us at getsotg.com if you sign up today you'll never miss another article radio show or video that's getsotg.com thanks a lot